Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. Sorry if my voice sounds a little janky today, your boy Rev's a little under the weather, but we push on to please the almighty algorithm. So without further ado, let's jump into it before my voice dies out. So yesterday, Kason had a pretty controversial stream. In the stream, she not only directed her message towards Japanese fans, but really directed it at Western VTuber fans, talking about some bad apples in the community. Now, she began by talking about gachikois, which are people who are very in love with their favorite VTuber. And in many cases, gachikois don't like when their favorite VTuber has a significant other. Now, the difference between them and what's called a unicorn in the Japanese scene is that a unicorn not only dislikes the idea of their favorite VTuber having a significant other, they expect it to not happen. In fact, if it does happen, they might stop supporting that VTuber based on the fact that they're in a relationship. Now, Kason uses the term weeb and real weeb or bad weeb as a sort of mirror to the whole unicorn concept. That even in the Western sphere, there are people who will no longer support their favorite female VTuber if they find out that they're in a relationship with someone or even communicating with other men or collaborating with them. So that's not exactly a far-reaching concept because we saw what happened with Hollow Tempest when they collaborated with different female members of Hollow Live. That's nothing new. It, it's not just in Japanese idol culture that we see these things. But interestingly, Kason, who describes herself as a weeb, as someone who was born in the United States and was always fascinated with Japan, she says how this term weeb has been used for a negative purpose. It is becoming a term described as real weeb, which is much similar to how unicorn functions. Basically, people are saying that, or, or at least according to Kason, that you're not a real weeb if you support the concept of a VTuber having a significant other. A real weeb would not support them after finding out that information. And she talks about how that is a very toxic and negative effect. She also mentioned that she doesn't have a problem with people like Gachikois um, not wanting or liking the idea of their favorite VTuber having a significant other. But where she draws the line is when people are mistreated because of that or support is cut off when they find out that their favorite VTuber has a significant other. Now, I, I find it very interesting because... I guess I wasn't very familiar with the whole like weeb being used as a derogatory term for certain VTuber fans. I mean, you know the regular definition of weeb, we all do, but it's kind of interesting to see it. I don't really know. I'm not too familiar with where Kason's coming with this, but clearly she has had a, uh, a something going on here where she has brought this up and it, it clearly bothered her very much to dedicate virtually an entire stream to talking about this subject. And, you know, we all understand, like, the, the idol culture that we're used to with Japanese audiences, but it is true that those concepts have translated over into Western audiences, which generally are much more okay with the concept of a VTuber having a significant other, but we have seen examples. So maybe Kason has seen things that we haven't, and she's expanding upon this topic, but either way, it has been a big topic of discussion, and what Kason was driving at here. So yeah, feel free to share your thoughts on that in the comments section. It's kind of unclear the full details of what she was trying to say, but there is a general message that we can understand. So moving on from that, from the shoujo to Niji Sanji. Guys, there is a new set of VTuber auditions for the English speaking streamers of Niji Sanji. Now, of course, your boy Rev's going to try out. No, just kidding. I would Personally, I would never want to be in a uh, an agency that's just not my style. Nothing against people who do it. But yeah, the, the jokes are coming in that everyone's trying out for Niji Sanji. But this is definitely a very interesting time for Niji Sanji. 2023 has been a nightmare year for Niji Sanji. They have had countless controversies and issues. Probably the biggest being the whole Zion termination as well as Niji Sanji and any color abusing the copyright system to strike down videos talking negatively about their talents. It's been a rough year, so maybe this is something that can stir some goodwill in the community that Niji Sanji really needs right now. They, they need to start cleaning up their image because it's been a rough 
2023. There's some things that they were not able to control, but how they handled various situations in the public lights did not make them look very good. So if you're interested, it could be you. You could be the next Niji Sanji member. Don't give up on that. I believe in you guys, but that's just a quick little story. But now we're going to look at a couple of ridiculous Twitter type moments. And yeah, they, they kind of speak for themselves. A little bit of a, a change in the pace here of this video. So I saw this. People are upset about this meme involving Hatsune Miku and what is a Baja Blast from Taco Bell. Now, two things that I love on this screen. I love Hatsune Miku and I love a Baja Blast, okay? I can't go to Taco Bell without getting a Baja Blast, okay? You have to get it. It is, if you're outside of the United States, that is a good enough reason to come here just to go to Taco Bell and get a Baja Blast. But the joke is that uh, Miku really has to go to the bathroom and this is what she ends up doing and would you drink it? Well, I would. But a lot of people are very upset about this situation. People saying, the original tweet has tons of quote retweets, a couple hundred, but you have tweets like this saying, Hatsune Miku is 16, y'all are weirdos. It just goes to show you once again how ridiculous the whole concept of age in fictional content is. Besides the fact this is an obvious meme, we're also dealing with a fictional character. We're also dealing with a fictional character, Hatsune Miku, who has been 16 for like almost two decades now. It just goes to show you how stupid the whole age of fictional characters argument is. Like, please, she's been probably around as a concept, as software, longer than people like this have been alive. But they, it gets worse. So... And speaking of ages, right, <clears throat> one very common thing that a lot of 18-plus uh, artists or 18-plus Twitter users put into their bio is the uh, phrase, minors do not interact, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's saying that minors, please don't engage with my account. It is a very good and responsible thing to do if you're a 18-plus user or you just don't want to deal with kids because... 90% of the bad takes on Twitter are from kids, okay? That's just a fact. But this person is saying in their uh, profound brilliance that if you have minors do not interact in your bio, I will assume you're a pedo. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, saying that you don't want to interact with minors is proof that you're a pedo. This kind of goes without saying, but uh, yeah pretty ridiculous that anyone actually thinks this is a real take and they were dead serious and that uh it makes me beg for some sort of a uh a reconstruction of schools because when this is happening you know something is terribly wrong but one last thing to look at here this is very strange we have not visited our friend yandere dev in quite some time it's been it's been too long but i saw this very wild tweet talking about yandere dev saying it's sad to say but at least yandere dev didn't actively groom or uh -uh, any of the myriad of teenage girls that are fans of his game you can't say that about a lot of youtubers or content creators the bar is so low for the behavior of content creators that people are getting praised for not grooming kids in their community but hey at least he didn't that we know of Yandere Dev is clean for now, but yeah, it has been 10 years and the game is not done yet, and that's pretty crazy. But you know what? I always like to check in on Yandere Dev. That is a whole nother uh, arc that just seems like it will never end. But people in the, the replies and quote retweets are like, wait a second, he is a predator because he, part of his game is looking up the skirts of high school students. Again, showing that nobody has any concept of what grooming or pedo behavior is and they will gladly label people as those terms without any having any sort of real concern about how watering down those terms hurts real victims and makes people not take those terms seriously but uh yes i think that's gonna do it for this video my apologies like i said i know my voice sounds a little scuffed right now but uh I, i'm doing all right i'll be fine i'll be uh taking care of myself i'll make sure i uh rest up and yeah, back to it, my normal silky smooth voice in the coming days.
But I appreciate you guys listening. Uh, please let me know all your all your thoughts about this related set of topics in the comments section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.